Hi, this is Elizabeth Grant, professor of speech at Lewis and Clark Community College. I happen to get to be your teacher this summer, and I'm excited about that. I'm glad you chose to enroll in a course that will challenge you to get more confident and more skilled in your public speaking at the podium. So to get started, I am glad that you've logged in. I'm hoping it's the first day or two of the course. And I wanted to just familiarize you with some of the policies and how the layout is of my Blackboard course. It may be different than some of the ones you've taken or this may be your first online opportunity. So um, you will see some tabs on the left that uh, have to do with some good things to check out this first week. For instance, you might want to um, click on and find out a little bit more about me or not. <laughs> you want to look at the course outline and definitely look at the mandatory speech dates. Those are set for the course. If there is a problem, you need to contact me and we could see if we could combine a speech, but it may be that you need to find another speech course. Also, make sure that you look at the course points. This, there are a lot of points in the course and the majority of those of those points come from public speaking. So you will have three speeches. The first one will be your special occasion speech. The second night, um, you will have an informative speech followed by an impromptu speech. And then the third night, you'll have your biggest, longest seven to 10 minute speech, uh, which is a persuasive speech about something about which you feel passionate. On each speech topic, you get to choose your topic and uh, the first one happens to be, however, about you, but you do have some flexibility in whether you'd like to talk about one event in your life or talk about a biographical sketch of your entire life. Remember, you have five to seven minutes. Every time we speak, you have a cushion of 20 seconds over or 20 seconds under. So 440 to 720 is your safe zone. We will be taping the first two speeches and you will need to bring a device that you are able to record yourself on and you will um, give it to a classmate to record you during your speech because you will need to log in by Friday of that week and complete a short reflection of your speaking after watching the videotape. So another thing you'll want to check out is our course calendar. Uh, do not download it and um, for like right now for the entire course because there may be some additions but I would every time you log in which I would log in every other day throughout the summer um, you need to might you might want to check the calendar and make sure that everything's um, up to date I will be posting announcements and I will send you an email notification when I do so it is important that you're using your LC email account this summer that is how blackboard is set up and that is where you will receive email correspondence from me. Um, it's a good idea to look at this ticket to success because it outlines some of the things that are expected. It tells you about your text. It tells you where your quizzes are and your quizzes and assignments are housed in the units. So right now you are expected to be in unit one. And when you click into unit one, you'll see um, that you have a quiz to take by Friday. You'll see some of the speeches that we're going to be performing and you have some reading to do in your icebreaker text. You also, um, the main activity this unit is that you're gonna watch speeches, eight speeches, and you're going to essentially build a class rubric. Because all of you, whether you've done speaking or not, have ideas about what a good speech sounds like and looks like, just from being in the audience. So um, we're going to tap into that knowledge and you're going to build a speech rubric and then you're going to use that rubric to assess a speech. Um, another thing I'd like for you to look at are the course rubrics. Uh, these are departmental rubrics. There's one for each of the three speeches. And um, if you look there on the first one, you'll see all the categories that you will be graded on. I will bring this rubric to class on speech night. You don't need to print it out. Um, this will actually be converted into a score out of 150 speaking points on your first speech and then your outline is 25 points. If you look under speech resources, there are some good things here. One thing that you'll want to take note of is the outline format. I am very strict on what your outline should look like. 
Each of them needs a general purpose, a specific purpose. It needs to follow the format given. Some people like to just cut and paste this into a Word document and type right on it so that they don't forget anything. You do not need sources on your first self speech, but on the subsequent two speeches, you will need a minimum of three sources and they will need to be cited in MLA format as well as cited within your speech. That means I'm gonna hear something like, according to US News and World Report, July 2015, um, there was an article written by Eli Smith on blah, 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 blah. So, I want to hear that three times because I'm the only one who's going to see your outline and you are building credibility by citing sources and your audience needs to hear those within your speech. So also on the odd units, you also have a discussion board. And so the first one, the first discussion deals with this rubric construction assignment that you're going to be doing. But it's important that you follow the dates given on the calendar. Usually, and this first unit's a little different because it's open for two weeks, but usually the first post needs to be made by 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday so that you can do your needed replies by Sunday. Units close at 11.59 on Sunday and your next unit opens um, earlier on Sunday. So. Um, Sunday's a, a big day for things opening and shutting in this course. When you're assigned a speech reflection, you'll just be expected to hit this tab and do the reflection. The main assignments in the course are the three speeches. You have an assignment in each chapter. You also have an outside of class speaker assignment. So you do not let that get away from you. That is something that you need to complete outside of class and um, it can be a political speech, a religious speech, it can be a toast at a wedding. Uh, the minimum requirements are that it is at least five minutes. And if you think it meets the requirements that could be assessed on a rubric, you print out the appropriate rubric, whether it is an informative speech or a commemorative speech or a persuasive speech. You fill out the rubric, you tally it up and give that person a grade, and you also submit a paragraph about who, what, when, where you saw this person just a paragraph and the rubric, and you can email that to eegrant at lc.edu. Actually, that is the best way to get in touch with me this semester. Um, sometimes online courses can feel a little bit disconnected, and that is not my goal. I will be checking my email every day, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If I would not get back to you within 24 hours, please resend your email. It is my goal to stay connected with you and be accessible to you. So, that gives you enough information to get started. Remember, I'm only an email away. I look forward to, to helping you develop your communication skills this summer. And I realize it's summer and I want to have a good time too. So, um, do just get in the habit of checking in every other day into the course, following the deadlines, and I'm looking forward to a successful experience for all of us. I'll see you in June. Bye.